so when it comes to different stages, let's start with like prospecting and lead generation. So I definitely think um, feedback can help us identify potential target customers, um, their needs and pain points, um, and this will help the market kind of understand what message is really resonating with the marketing team the most um, and with the personas that can benefit from tools. So which means to better lead generation efforts. So it kind of goes in a full circle. Uh, when it comes to qualification and needs assessment, I think it's just actively listening to the feedback on what tools and processes they're using. It helps me understand the deeper level, what their pain point is, what approach I should be taking and exactly what kind of features I should be demoing on the product. Um, at the demo stage, of course, like feedback doesn't stop. They always keep asking, I have to keep asking for um, uh, what their thoughts are, um, whether it's applicable. So I definitely think it's, important to continuously get feedback on that stage even during a demo so that way you're not playing like one way ping pong by yourself and at the follow-up stage if i do have any um gaps in the product i definitely think using feedback and any like feature requests and give them updates on the status would give me a good value add when it comes to the follow-up and upselling so story time so recently um candy just launched an um, integration with asana so there's about 110 votes. Um, and I could, all I could do is just pull up the list of voters, see um, who's on the free plan, see who already has one integration because on the paid plan, you need two, pay those customers and see if they're ready to upgrade. So I definitely think having feedback ongoing throughout the entire sales cycle is very valuable. Yeah, de definitely. Um... I think it's interesting too, um, you know, you, we all end up getting those deals that are closed lost. Um, and occasionally that's due to a missing feature or something, right? So um, that is pretty low hanging fruit. If you can be alerted that someone that is in closed lost uh, might be interested in hearing about a feature that you built that they were interested in, right? Yeah, and I came from also another company that they didn't have like a feedback tool at all. And I remember so many times where I would have to close loss a customer. And of course, I'm in sales. I'm not the best at taking notes. I just close loss at missing features without adding my notes. And then three weeks later, our product team's like, oh, guess what we built? And I have to be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot who it was and who I have to follow up with. So there's definitely a lot of opportunities I missed out there just from not having a feedback tool. Well, 